Hey there, Aries. What's up, my beautiful Aries? How we doing? Welcome to your reading for October 7th, 2023. Just keep in mind, Aries, that my readings are timeless, okay? So it doesn't matter if it's anywhere near October 7th. Whenever you do come across this message, that's when it's meant for you, okay? Welcome to Caleb Base Tarot. If you are new, what's up? I'm glad that you're here. If you're returning, what up, though? I'm glad that you're back, okay? Guys, I'm finally going to be able to wear a different shirt here in just like the next couple of hours. I finally am going to go wash clothes. Like luckily where I'm staying at, there is a washer and dryer here, but the washer's having issues. So I have a dryer here, but I don't have a washer, which kind of sucks. So I have to go wash some clothes today. So as, a, as you can tell, I have my at home shirt and then I have my at work shirt. <laughs> That's what I've been using the past i guess three couple of days here it's getting really tiring doing that i'm not gonna lie but it's the situation i was in so that's what i had to do okay aries before i get into your actual reading here i did channel a couple of things this morning um one was during or a couple of them was during my walk and then a few of them was during my meditation before uh cleansing my space here so and then as i was cleansing my space um, I like my toe hit the, um, the scale in the bathroom and it like, it hit it and it moved the scale and everything. And it was like, it didn't, it didn't hurt at all. I don't know. So it's like someone out here is trying to attack you or hurt you in some kind of way and they are not succeeding at it. Spirit guides, angels, God, and Jesus, please protect my throat chakra here. Please protect my crown chakra solar plexus chakra and all the rest of my chakras okay protect my chakras and allow me to get a good reading for aries today allow me to get a reading that's going to be on point for someone who is an aries today watching this video please watch over me protect me and keep me safe thank you archangel michael okay so someone here is definitely trying to um i would i kind of want what i'm getting here is they're trying to cause you some type of physical harm but it's like bouncing right off you. You are protected by your ancestors here. Jesus, I have got to stop drinking coffee in the morning. I can feel my voice being shaky because I have so much energy. It's like anxiety in here from this fucking coffee, bro. As I take another sip. Okay, anyway. So I got that. Also, that's like the most recent thing that I got. Also, um, yeah, someone is trying to burn you with your own fire here. There, um, and the reason that I say that is because, I don't know if you can still see my sage, still smoking here from whenever I just got done cleansing my space, but it's getting kind of small, like as you can see, it's getting down to the bottom here, okay, and two different times as I was making sure it was staying lit, blowing on it, a uh, fire comes off and it like lands on my hand, it burnt me right here a little tiny bit, you can't really see, burnt me there a little tiny bit, <clears throat> and um, I was just thinking, wow, someone's really trying to burn you with your own fire here. And I was like, what a interesting thing. It's like they're not taking into consideration that you're an Aries, okay? We we are we are fire. I feel like, in a sense, you know, not like we enjoy uh, uh, emotional pain, but I feel like Aries, to an extent, most of us like a little bit of physical pain, okay? Especially like working out or um, working out or something like that, you know what I'm saying? Like when we're... Uh, getting our body into it. We're sitting there like, oh, I didn't even feel that shit, you know, because Aries are, we're a very strong individual here. Aries people are, okay? Also, I, I mean, I channeled a lot of different things this morning. I, I don't know why, but I was like, I asked Spirit this morning. I was like, like, please help me get some things to channel for Aries this morning. Um, I was guided by one of the people that I look up to. Um, her YouTube handle is Spiritual Healer 777. Also, she sells Crown Chakra Spray. This is called Crown Chakra Oasis. Um, if you guys follow her page and email her, you can get this. It is um, not incredibly expensive. Uh, it's definitely within your budget. You can pay for this and um, you can protect your crown chakra every day with it. Okay. It's also really good for your skin. So um, I was guided by her to do a Aries reading every day. Okay. So that's what I'm going to start doing here. And <clears throat> what I got this morning, I got a couple of things here. So I'm going to try to 
go with the flow as best as I can here, okay? Um, some of you guys need to get some batteries or you're getting batteries, okay? Don't know why I got that, but I got that, all right? And I also got two things that, um, yeah, okay. All right, earlier, before I even went on my walk, or no, no, no. All right, this was right after I went for my walk, and then this was um, right before my meditation. So this is about probably 10 or 15 minutes apart, but first I got, someone is either hook or hooked, okay? To you, Aries, they are hooked on you. They are like, they cannot get enough of watching you or looking at you, they're hooked, okay? And then about 15 minutes later, I got this song by, I think their names are Ayo and Teo. It's either Ayo and Teo or Ayo and Teo. All right. And it's called Rolly, I think. I just want to rolly, rolly, rolly with a data ranch. Okay. If y'all know, if y'all know that song, there's a part of that song, um, that goes like this. I just want some ice. I mean, this is basically the same verse. I should have just like sang the whole thing, but I'm like, I don't want to get a copyright flag again. So I'm trying to be careful here. YouTube. I'm paying attention. I got you, okay? <laughs> so, um, I just want to rolly, rolly, rolly with a dab wrench. And then at the end of that verse, he's like, I just want some ice on my wrist so I look better when I dance. Have you looking at it? Put you in a trance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so someone out here, Aries, watching this video, you put someone in a trance, yo. Like, just by you being yourself in your energy, it's like someone, you got someone like this. Oh, oh shit wake up really quick they they don't know what the fuck's going on they're looking at you like damn why am i so into it like why how am i so um how, how am i so entranced by this aries they're all right and you got this doing this to someone out here okay and this is specific for somebody because i got that part and it, it like two or three times that looking at it puts you in a trance yeah 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 that part like came off like two or three times in my head while i'm trying to meditate and i was like okay and if you guys meditate or if you try to, you'll understand that the the biggest thing meditation is, is stopping, okay? Like life is busy, life is always moving. It's like, and these days especially, it's quick, 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 do this, do that, do that, do that, do this, all the time, like that, okay? And whenever you meditate, and, and especially for myself, whenever I meditate, I keep in the back of my mind, this is my time. This is my time, okay? And this is for me, with my time, in my time, and nobody else's time, okay? <laughs> and so with that being said, I also, while I was meditating, all right, and I can always tell whenever it's something or someone in my energy trying to uh, break my focus, okay? Because like probably, I was doing a 20 minute meditation, okay? And probably like four minutes into it, three, four minutes, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, I'm guesstimating here because I don't know, like you'll, you'll realize that time works differently in your mind whenever you're meditating. It doesn't really work the same whenever you are meditating compared to when you're not. My dog, maybe like three or four minutes in, she's like, come over here and she puts her head on my lap and she's like, mm, mm, mm. And I'm like, I know she wants to go outside, but I just kept meditating. I was like, no, I, you know, you should have asked before I started meditating. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. I'm taking my time. Okay, me time. All right, that's how I was feeling. So someone or something here is waiting for you to help them. They're like waiting on you. They're like putting on, they're like, all their eggs are in the basket of waiting on you. They're like, okay, I'm ready. Whenever you are, you just let me know. Whenever you are ready, Aries, I am ready. You ready yet? <laughs> that's how that you get this person in your energy like this. And it could be the same person that's like hooked on you that you um, put in a trance whenever you are yourself standing in your own energy, doing your own thing. Um, could be that confirmation. There's my dog barking outside right now, okay? She's just gonna have to keep barking for a few minutes because I'm gonna finish this reading before I do anything else. Okay, but this morning, uh, before I did anything else, I always wake up and I take a shower in the morning and um, I get ready to go for a walk and I pick up my bag of trash, I walk for sobriety and I walk my dog, okay? So this morning, before I did any of that, I was so impatient and frustrated. I was just, so some of you guys Aries out here are feeling a very big feeling of frustration and, and, and impatience with something in your life here. You're just like, oh my God, what's taking so long with this? And you know, Aries are pretty much known for being a little impatient anyways, where, you know, we're the fire starters, we get things started, we get things moving, we ain't got time to wait, okay? <laughs> 
So usually that's how um, an Aries can be or is usually. I have Aries placements twice in my chart. So um, maybe feeling a little impatient today here, Aries, or a little frustrated with something in your life that you have going on. For example, while I was walking my baby, my little doggy, um, like, and it's, it's the same thing every day, you know, whenever I'm walking her, you know, she stops like 37 times in like a five foot period and then we'll walk for 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 miles and then she'll stop for 37 times in a like 10 foot period here. And for some reason when she was stopping and smelling around, I was just like, hurry up, hurry up. But I was like, why? Like, why am I trying to get her to hurry? I was like, I don't really, like the next step was walking more and then waiting for her to stop again. So I don't know why I was so frustrated and, and impatient. I was just like ready to be back for some reason. So some of you guys maybe are ready to go back to something or maybe you're um, just feeling frustrated or impatient about something here, okay? Um, the last two things that I got before we get into your reading here is while I was meditating towards the end, um, I'll, I'll follow this guy. If you look up Headspace Guide to Meditation on Netflix, uh, there's a guy named Andy who does the the meditations. He is the he's the one speaking, and um, Andy is like a really good. He's really good at this. Okay, that's all I can say. He's the, he's the reason that I started meditating. I'm not gonna lie. If I would never have looked up Headspace Guide to Meditation on Netflix, then I never would have gotten the app, and I never would have accidentally paid for the year like seventy five dollars for the year pass of being able to meditate all day or as many times as you want to. I never would have accidentally done that and I never would have gotten into meditation, I don't believe. So um, towards the end of the meditation, he will say, okay, now for a moment, stop thinking about the breath. Like just let your mind do whatever it wants to do, okay? If you want to think, then think. If you want to just keep focusing on your breath, keep focusing on your breath. Whatever you want to do, whatever your mind wants to do, let it do it, okay? And at the end of the, it'll be closer to the end of the meditation whenever he does that, okay? And towards the end of the meditation, whenever he said that, as soon as he did, I just let my mind free and I just saw this huge tree. Like, like this was like the tree of life, okay? So something about a big tree or a tree of life in your energy here, Aries, uh, I, feel, I feel the need to tell you guys that, about that, something about that here, okay? And the last thing that I wanted to say is because it's my most favorite here. <laughs> Um, I channeled this song earlier after I got done walking and all of that, um, before I was making myself a sandwich. Um, and I got the song Forgot About Dre by Dr. Dre and Eminem. And specifically that part, the Eminem sings, the, the chorus or whatever you want to call it. The main, main part there is like, Nowadays, everybody want to talk like they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move to this. Just a bunch of gibberish and motherfuckers act like they forgot about Dre, okay? I don't want to get a copyright flag for that, so that's all I'm going to say about that song. Um, but it seems like you guys are dealing with someone in your energy that just talks, 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 and they don't say shit, okay? They just talking. It's like they, <laughs> they always talking like they got something to say, and they're like, man... That pen was blue, bro, and it was the bluest pen I ever saw. And in fact, it was so blue that whenever I wrote with it and like I saw it in that blue color that I was like, that's the bluest blue I ever saw. And you're like, okay, not like I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so I just wanted to state that it's gonna be for someone out here, I guess, I suppose. All right, that's why I'm getting in my energy here. So that's why I'm giving it out to you guys. Um, I'm going to jump right into the reading here, Aries. Um, for those of you that don't know, if you know anybody that's a Taurus, I was guided or um, actually was it requested by someone who subscribes to my channel here. Her name is Lucy Tucci um, and like some kind of L-O-U capital C, C, the number two and then C-H-I, Lucy Tucci. Um, she asked me if I would do a reading without the book that I used by Dusty White. Uh, last night for Taurus, so I did do that. I have no idea if it's going to resonate with her or anyone else, but I did try my best with my intuition there. And um, hopefully, if someone would like to check that out, they can. But this is going to be for you guys today, Aries, and I am going to use my book. Okay, <laughs> I felt extremely vulnerable. I was like, oh my god, I, I was a, I was not comfortable. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I like having um, a source to check into. I mean, I, I like using my intuition. 
and um, usually like nine times out of ten it is on point especially if I meditate and I am not in my feelings whenever I'm trying to channel my intuition okay usually it is on point but um, just wanted to throw that out there for someone if you are dealing with a Taurus or if you have Taurus placement in your chart you can always check out my reading uh, it just uploaded this morning I've been trying to upload it all night so <laughs> All right, let's see what Spirit has to say to you guys today, Aries. Let's see. Spirit, show me a past, present, future read for the Aries today. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries. Some of you guys are feeling a little backstab right now about something or someone. Um, you have the King of One Wands and the Knight of Wands. Aries, you could be feeling a little backstabbed by another fire sign. Could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. You're definitely getting fire in your energy here. It could be... Uh, yourself? Hold on a second. Uh, I just want to know, King of Wands and the Knight of Wands, because you got a lot of wands. <clears throat> Tyrant, rude, bully, domineering, boss, violent, criminal, self-assessed, me megalomaniac. You're dealing with a real jerk here, Aries. Someone in your energy uh, could be a real jerk, and they're like a bot. They're like domineering. They're a bully to you, okay? Um, could also represent a glory seeking poser masquerading as the positive side of this card. Alternately, card reversed to a possible misfortune to an otherwise good man if it is heavily affected by negative cards in the reading. You also have the Knight of Wands here, okay? So, Knight of Wands is charging ahead without forethought, impulsive behavior, usually detrimental, uncontrolled anger or sexual desires, bullying, domineering, young alpha males, also abruptness of personality, rudeness, bad planning, grandstanding, attention getting antics of little useful value, need for public attention and validation. So it could be someone in your energy here that is like this Aries that you're dealing with. Let me put these back in here. I wanna put those back in there. Something about a battle or something about a battle being lost here. Um, or a battle that is over, it's already happened. That was not a good shuffle. I'm going to do that one more time. So, Spirit, show me the cards that I need to see for Aries, past, present, future. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries, past, present, future. Show me the cards that I need to see. I need four, two, three, four. One more. Three, four. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries. Okay, some of you guys dodged a tower moment here somehow. Uh, it could have been someone or something in your energy trying to bring your downfall. You dodged it, okay? Not gonna have to deal with that. All right. For the past, you have the um, Nine of Pentacles, okay? You have the Nine of Pentacles upright. This is a kept woman, of course. This card is applicable to either gender. It could be a man or woman that you're dealing with that is kept, they're to themselves, okay? Um, and people of any age, as long as they are among the idle rich or merely serenely content with the wealth they do possess, their passions, and their ease of life. This extremely fortunate card betokens material success to the point of leisurely inactivity, but this is more than simply having money. This card is about enjoying your passions in life and having an ease of existence so that you can chase your dreams and not have to put up with the drudgery of everyday life that the rest of the population of Earth has to contend with, no matter how wealthy they are. This is life as a permanent vacation no matter what your status otherwise so in the past year you were having a good time doing uh, i don't know feeling happy with the money situ like your money situations you're enjoying your passions in life here it felt like you were kind of like on a permanent vacation aries okay for someone out here watching this let me see show me some clarification cards for the um nine of pentacles in the past here, you got the first uh, clarification card is the Knight of Pentacles, okay? So let's see, what else? What else Spirit need to show me? Show my shot and Spirit. Show me the cards I need to see, Spirit, for the clarification for Nine of Pentacles for Aries in the past here. Show me the cards that I need to see. Show me the cards that I need to see, please. So far, if you guys are liking what I'm doing, if you want me to keep doing this, hit that like button down at the bottom. Comment in the comment section to let me know that it's resonating with you, okay? Share the video. I don't know why, but I get uh, I get the most views and likes and stuff whenever people share it. So I really appreciate it, okay? And subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Hit that like, subscribe button over there, okay? It's completely free for you guys and totally beneficial for me, so why not, right? All right, let's see what else I want to show you for the past year. What else we got for the past for Aries? Okay. Interesting. Okay. All right.
So some of you guys out here in the past, it says, unlike other nights whose testosterone levels forced them to initiate action, this man's same biochemicals create a smugness and bravado that challenges others to bend to his will by taking action that he finds amusing or acceptable. His confidence is rooted. Now this is an earth sign, it could, or it could be an earth sign in your energy, or it could be you if you have earth in your placement. Take it as it resonates, okay? His confidence is rooted in his possessions, his inherent obstinance, and his readiness to weigh out any situation until he finds circumstances to his liking. This card shows a stubbornness in people or a refusal to budge or compromise that is both the hallmark of great leadership and the cause of many of society's ills. This card allows no compromise. When you see this card, the person it represents is saying, come and get it, I dare you. But the subtle inflection underneath is that things will progress at their comfort level and only in the manner they desire, okay? Could be someone that you're dealing with in your energy here like this, Aries, in the past, okay? That's what I'm getting. You also have the Ten of Wands, okay? Ten of Wands is fire. So it could be yourself here. Yeah, Ten of Wands is be careful what you wish for. As you can see with this, all right, he has all these sticks. You know, it looks like he's going back to build something. Um, he's like, got it, and he's happy with it. But at the same time, now he has to carry all of them by himself, right? He's like, oh, shit. So, you know, be careful what you wish for because you're going to, I mean, it seems like what you're asking for, you're going to get it. And then whenever you do get it, it may be not what you expected, okay? The powerful card reminds us, as is the Ten of Swords, that at the end of the day, all we have said and done catches up with us. The luxuries we crave are our burdens in turn. This man has lots of sticks, but he has to carry them to his destination or lose them. Success has a price, and you may have to bear it once you get everything you desire. Fame, power, and wealth are seldom what we thought they would be when we first started along our path. Know exactly what you want before you invest a lifetime pursuing it so that when you get it, you are still happy to carry the load. This card shows heavy labor or emotional burdens one chooses or is forced to carry for a time, okay? So... Yeah, be careful what you wish for because whenever you get it, you might be like, damn, that's not exactly what I thought it was going to be, okay? It's going to be something like that. Or <laughs> heavy labor or emotional burdens one chooses or is forced to carry for a time, all right? Um, you also have the Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups is a card of being happy in the place that you are at at the time that, it, uh, that you get this card, okay? This is the Fabled Wish card. It represents getting almost everything you want, quitting the game on top, and taking your winnings home. You win. This is you getting your wish or living your passions. Living your passions. Ideally, this is what the Eight of Cups leads to, or just being supremely happy with what you have and not needing to toil or risk to gain anything more. This is an idealistic card of, san of satiation and sensual pleasure. So it is a good idea to have a clear vision of your wish before you have it delivered. And, you know, as you can see, the person is happy in this card and they're sitting there like, you know, they got their, it kind of looks like they might be disappointed, but they're happy. They're like this. They're like, yeah, I did that. All right. But they're sitting on a wooden bench. Okay. Uh, that part is always significant whenever I get this card. That's why I try to re remind myself to tell people about that. They're sitting on a wooden bench. So even though they're happy right now in this moment, it's not going to stay that way for very long. They're going to have to do something differently or get up and do something differently they're gonna have to move from that spot eventually because after you sit down on something wooden for about a good amount a little bit of time you'll be like damn my ass hurts okay so <laughs> all right for the present we have the seven of cups is the juice worth the squeeze okay right now you're looking at these um possibilities these opportunities in your life you're trying to figure out which one you want uh, which one you're going to uh, pick or something like that. Or it looks like you have all of them at once. You have many things that you can choose from right now. Um, and it seems like you're doing a lot of things. All right. You're like, you're like, oh, let me do this. Let me do that. Let me do this. And then like um, after you're doing this for such a, uh, for like a certain amount of time, you're sitting there and you're like, damn, is this worth it? Is this something that I should be doing? Is this something I should keep doing? I don't really know how I feel about this. Okay. You're like, is the juice worth the squeeze here? Okay. Seven of cups. Let's look. You have opportunities and possibilities before you. The world is at your feet, whether you know it or not. And you may even be overwhelmed by the choices you face now, but a choice is called for and the clock is ticking. This is a very fortunate card as you have options, but the pressure on you to choose and act may be overwhelming. Take a deep breath, do some quick research, decide what you want most from life right now, and strike when the iron is still hot. If you wait too long, the moment will pass and the opportunity may be gone. Choose, but choose wisely. So. Like I said, you have options here. You have something that you can choose from, something to pick from, but it's telling you to act quickly here, okay? It says, and this is specific, strike while the iron is still hot. So this is like, you're gonna, you have these options right now, but you're not gonna always have these options. So you might as well choose 
quicker than um, quicker than waiting, okay? Quicker than later, whatever. Quicker than now instead of later. You, you might want to choose now instead of later because if you keep waiting and keep taking your time with it, you're, gonna, you're no longer going to have these options or these possibilities here in front of you, Aries, okay? And this card does show up as a water sign, so it could be water in your energy here. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Uh, it doesn't have to be, okay? Just letting you know. Let's see. Let's get some clarifying cards for this Seven of Cups, okay? Spirit, give me some clarifying cards. Give me three cards to clarify the Seven of Cups here for Aries. What is it that they need to choose from? What is it they're choosing from? What options are the, is it that they are um, having in their energy that they're trying to decide? What is it? Show me the cards that I need to see. Show me the cards that I need to see. Please. Wow. It's like things are wanting to come out, but then they're changing their mind. <laughs> it's like, nope. Okay. Let me see. One more time. One more time. There we go. Knight of Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. Okay. You also have the Magician on the bottom of the card here, okay? I mean, <laughs> the bottom of the card. You have the Magician at the bottom of the deck here, okay, Aries? Which means that you guys are, um, you have already started your journey here. You have already started on something here in your life, okay? Um, it could be your spiritual journey. It could be a job. It could be a relationship. You've already started this. Um, and now you're facing some obstacles, okay? And these obstacles are in your way, however, and you may be a little overwhelmed by these obstacles and you may be a little frustrated. However, uh, spirit is guiding you and showing you that you have all the tools that you need in order to get through this obstacle that you are facing here, okay? So let's look up this Knight of Swords, okay? Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords. Knights. Knights, 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 knights. Okay, it says unstoppable force, young alpha male. It could be an air sign in your energy, Gem Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Doesn't have to be, okay, but this is a card of air. Um, unstoppable force, young alpha male, active, decisive, even overbearing, sometimes fearless, natural born leader, or one thrust in into it by circumstance. Either way, though, things will happen his way. This also shows a man who is quick to act and often just as quick to leave as well. Even so, this person will almost always have a certain charisma that draws others to him like flies to honey. As a character or a personality trait, this card reveals extreme courage <clears throat> in the face of danger or the act of violently forcing others to conform to one's personal beliefs. This can be either verbal or physical. Also, rushing heedlessly into action or rescue from peril, okay? So um, one of the things that you're facing here could be someone in your energy that is like this, this young alpha male, and there's this unstoppable force, uh, things gotta happen their way, okay? Something like that, Queen of Cups. Let's look at this Queen of Cups reverse for you guys, okay? Queen, 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 where you at, baby? All right, Queen of Cups, that's the night. <laughs> All right, it says the Queen of Cups reverse indicates a woman whose emotions tend to escape her control on a regular basis. Additionally, her sanity may come into question. Potential for drug or alcohol abuse, potentially jealous, unreliable, dishonest, and dangerous to herself and those around her. Approach with caution. Um, this could be you, Aries, but it's not what I'm getting. Um, this could be someone in your energy that is like this. Um, it is showing up as a water sign. It could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio in your energy uh, that is like this. This person could be a drug user or an alcohol abuser, maybe maybe drink or they over drink is what I'm getting here. Um, kind of unreliable, potentially jealous person and dishonest, and they could be dangerous to themselves or the people around them. So you need to be cautious with this person, this person that is in your energy here. And I would watch your purse, okay? Because I just got Persian, Persian. Okay, it could be a Persian person, but <laughs> also watch your purse, okay? Because it, like I said, it says uh dishonest and dangerous to herself and those around her that's dishonest part could also mean in my opinion that they are a thief or someone that takes okay so be careful with this water sign in your energy uh could be a water sign doesn't have to be um that is a dishonest person and i would watch your purse whenever you're around them okay because they could be trying to either slip something into it or they could be trying to take something out of it all right so the wands we have the nine of wands here right Yes. Okay. Dedication, trustworthiness, a sense of duty and the will to carry it out, loyalty to a cause, 
endurance in the face of challenges, victory through perseverance and determination, inner strength and a solid conviction in one's beliefs. Yep. So last night I actually did get this card for Taurus and I was trying to figure out what it means and it's something to do with like a battle that was in my mind. I was like, this is some kind of battle that was fought already and it's over the end of a battle here. So I am going to throw that out there because as you can see, he's got this bandage across the top of his head. Okay. Definitely has been fighting <laughs> with something over here, but um, it's basically saying you are a victory. You're victorious through this um, perseverance and determination that you have here. And it is showing up as a fire sign. So it could be you very well, Aries, um, showing up as yourself here. Very worthy, very worthy adversary. Also physical or emotional solid fortress, Bastillion, something worth defending, successfully defending your stuff. Your beliefs, possessions, job, spouse, or anything that is in question against all opposition. The person in question has a backbone. So whoever you are, Aries, watching this in the present, you have a backbone through whatever uh, you have. A, you got a, you got a backbone, okay? And you have made it through victorious and whatever challenges that you have faced, okay? Especially in the past here, whatever, whatever challenges you have faced, you've come out victorious, okay? And you, and, and basically people now, since you have come, you have come through and you are victorious people are looking at you differently here aries they're like damn i wasn't really expecting that okay <laughs> they're like um like they, this person whoever this these people are in your energy uh these people looking at you they were expecting you to fail okay and now um you came out victorious and since you did these people are looking at you differently they're like holy shit i wasn't expecting aries to be able to do that that's just crazy okay so let's look at what the sun is reversed uh, for the future here, Aries, let's see what you have to look forward to. What's that sound reverse though? What is that sound reverse though? <clears throat> okay. It looks like you guys, um, even though you came out victorious here and whatever this energy is, this person that is in your energy it could be a uh, an air sign or a water sign. Uh, this person um, is is uh very controlling like i said they're a uh, it's their way or the highway type of energy okay and they're like um what's that headstrong they're very headstrong okay so this person's energy um especially since you're around them so much or it seems like you're around this person a lot it's going to rub off on you okay and it's, it's going to wear you down a little bit so because the sun reversed here in the future it says closing off from help depression paralyzing fear lack of support so this person's in your energy and they're taking your energy, they're pulling on your energy all the time, presenting like they're there for you, but this person doesn't help you, okay? They're not supporting you, the lack of support part, and you're sitting here with fear, depression, and you're closing off from help because of this person that you're expecting support from, and it could be a significant other very well, it could be a family member, okay? It could be someone at your job, something like this, but you're closing off help from other people because this person is skewing your idea of how people are supposed to be in your life whenever you are around them, like a significant other or a family member. Like they're skewing your idea of what family and love is because they're supposed to be supporting you. They're supposed to be helping you and they're supposed to be like um, a good energy in your life. And instead, um, this person is causing you to have uh, depression, fear, um, they're not supporting you and it's causing you to close off from help here. You're like, nah, fuck that. This one person, I mean, I got this person in my energy supposed to be helping me and they can't even do it. I ain't fucking going to ask none of y'all for help. That's crazy. I ain't, what do I look like? <laughs> you know, 33, 33 on the clock. Okay. Uh, on the timer there, you might want to look up the angel number 333 or 3333 and see what it's got to say. Okay. See what the angels are wanting to say to you. All right, confirmation was something there. Let's get some clarification cards here for the sun. All right, let's get some clarification cards for the sun here in the future. Spirit, show me the cards that I need to see. Give me some clarification cards for the sun reverse for Aries in the future. Show me the cards that I need to see. Show me the cards that I need to see, please. I'm getting some kind of weird song. What's it? It's not... Mm. <laughs> I don't know if I should. I'm just going to keep that to myself, I think. Okay. One more time. One, two, three, four. Okay. Page of Swords. No. Yeah, Page of Swords here. The Page cards always kind of confuse me. I'm not going to lie, but you got Page of Swords here on the bottom. I'm going to clarify what this Page of Swords is because I feel the need to. 
Representative of a person, this card indicates a young boy or girl or a student, either of the qualities of the suit of swords, rash, loud, defensive, angry, potentially violent, or of the element of air. So could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Intelligent, studious, hyperactive, razor wit. If this card indicates a message, expect the wording to be sharp and pointed, like unpleasant news or something delivered with disdain. When this card indicates a situation or a state of being, it reflects the act of taking the moral high ground, vehemently arguing a point, speaking from a platform, teaching, lecturing, or preaching. It does not indicate a war of words, but rather a spirited exchange and less negatively aspected. So actually the reason, part of the reason why you guys are having such a hard time in the future here or are going to be closed off to uh, uh, accepting help from other people because of this person and their lack of support is because of something they said to you, okay? Something that they said to you, Aries. It was very hurtful, okay? And it's not like a... a and they may have not, they may not even realize here, Aries, that they hurt you by saying this, okay? That's what I'm getting. But whatever they said hit you in the fifis really hard. It stung, okay? And it made you change your outlook on this person, the way that they are as a person and how you feel about them as a person is what I'm getting here, Aries, okay? Wow. So you guys are dealing with some kind of horns or you're feeling some kind of way, <laughs> okay? <laughs> um, like I said earlier, guys, you dodged a tower moment. Um, I don't know if you, I don't know what at what point in this video where the tower was at the bottom of the deck reversed, to me, whenever I look at the cards, this is how I look at it, okay? I'm looking at it like this. So all three of these cards, to me, are in reversal. To you, they are upright. So, Aries, it looks like you're going to be dodging a tower moment by getting away from this energy. Or if you're not getting away from it, putting up your boundaries around this energy is going to... Uh, stop you from going through a tower moment okay um a tower moment is basically a, some type of divine intervention where it's usually a loss of a job like a really important job to you or a move that is unexpected it's like as you can see these two people are getting thrown out of this tower okay look at this they're falling to the ground because the, the tower is getting struck by lightning it's on fire okay um, and they're basically on a mountain, okay? They're like getting kicked out of this place, all right? And it's unexpected. That's why no one likes seeing the tower in their breedings. No one likes seeing the tower because it's such a detrimental card. It's like, oh my God, I, I the tower. But to me, I don't see the tower as a bad card, okay? I see it as divine intervention coming through, okay? Because imagine if, all right, and I actually got this uh, from someone else. Uh, her name is Alicia. Ah, I cannot remember the name of her tarot channel right now, but her husband's channel is called 7D Tarot. His name is Vince, okay, and hers is... Ah, I can't remember right now off the top of my head, but her name is Alicia. Her husband's channel is 7D Tarot. You might want to check him out and check her out. They're both very good tarot readers, okay, um, and... Um, one time uh, I was watching Alicia's, uh, one of her reads for Aries, and she was like this. Uh, she was like, um, imagine you're like, okay, at first you're like this. Um, you know, it's like spirits like, hey, you should eat blueberries. And you're like, well, I don't want the blueberries. Okay, and then spirits like, well, maybe you should eat blueberries. And you're like, yeah, I don't, I don't want the blueberries. All right, and then couple like some time goes by and you find out what happens after you eat blueberries you figure out the health benefits for you it's actually really good for you if you have diabetes you can eat blueberries also grapefruit carrots anyway throwing that out there um and she's like after a while you're like okay give me the blueberries i want the blueberries because <laughs> you figure out how good it is for you instead of how bad uh you didn't want it or what you were thinking about in the past here Okay, uh, this is what I'm getting here. It's like you have this person or this thing or job or something in your energy here and you're like, I don't want to get rid of it, you know, and they're like, well, yeah, you should probably just take some space from it. And you're like, well, I don't want to take any space. All right. And then this person says this thing or does this thing and you're like, you know what? I got you. You want some space? I'm going to give you some space, son. Okay. <laughs> and you're sitting there like, like you are doing you are being guided to do this and it is happening for you. You are listening to the guidance, okay? So that's going to be specific and significant for someone out here, Aries, okay? <clears throat> Let's look up this Ace of Swords. Among professional readers, this is quietly referred to as the real death card. This indicates sharp, sudden violence and defeat. 
usually accompanied by vehement rage. Before you accept this, be sure to verify any and all expecting cards. So yeah, it's like you're you're cutting something out of your energy here, okay, that no longer serves you, all right? And the reason that you're doing this because of some sort of sharp, sudden violence and defeat. And I think this is whatever this person said to you. Uh, that is the violence part. And, and like I said earlier, they may not even understand what they did by saying this or doing this to you, Aries. They may not understand how it made you actually feel. Because Aries are people that are, I wouldn't say emotional, but you know, we're like, we do have emotions and we do understand how we feel about things, even though we may not always tell everyone that, okay? So, and since that happened, you're, uh, you're avoiding a tower moment because you decided to cut this shit out your energy. You're like, nah, you want to be like that? Okay, that's fine. You can be like that. And I'm going to be over there. Okay. Away from your ass. <laughs> okay. So that's going to be significant for someone out here. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that you're, uh, dealing with here. It doesn't have to be, but, uh, it also shows some kind of victory. So you guys, I mean, it is upright. It is a victory, but in the reversal here, you're losing something. Okay. So could be for someone, since you're looking at it, you're in this direction. You could be uh, dealing with a victory here, Aries. But let's look up this King of Cups really, cup, really quick. What's this King of Cups got to say, son? King of Cups, son? What you got, son? So definitely you've got water and, and air and your energy all over the place here, Aries. You have either a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio in your energy. Okay. King of Cups reverse is a shifty devil. His word is not to be trusted as his mind and loyalties changes with the tide of his emotions. Potential alcohol and drug abuse, also often emotionally unstable, before having any serious dealings with this man, ensure that you have done some investigative research to determine the extent of his character, flaws, and how they affect you. Okay. Now, uh, it doesn't have to be a man that you're dealing with here. It could be a female. Uh, just, just take it as it resonates, okay? Uh, Self-compassion, inner feelings, moodiness, emotionally manipulative. So this person is like, they're compassionate about themselves, okay? <laughs> um, they have a lot of inner feelings that they don't like um, express a whole lot, you know. Uh, they could be a moody person and emotionally they're very manipulative, okay? So, um, yeah, someone is not in control of their emotions or behaviors and they're showing that blatantly here, all right? Uh, I guess that's probably the moodiness is what I'm getting here from someone in your energy. So, yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, it does show up as a man. It is the king here. It could be a male that you're dealing with, um, but it doesn't have to be, okay? Uh, it could be a female with male characteristics or male placements in their chart, okay? That's what I'm getting here. So, uh, that's the end of the tarot portion of your read today, Aries. I uh, hope that resonated with someone. Again, if it did, please hit that like button down at the bottom. Share, subscribe. It really does help out the channel. And please comment in the comment section if it does resonate with you. I really like to know. And I do read all my comments and I try to reply to every single one. Sometimes I will miss one and then like a day or two later I'll realize that I missed it and I'll go back and I'll still reply to it. So trust me, Aries, if you comment in the comment section, I will reply to you and I really do appreciate it, okay? Let's go ahead and get into the message from the Ancestors Oracle cards here, Aries, and see what they want to say to you today. Okay, <clears throat> see what your ancestors want to say to you today, Aries. Ancestors, spirit, spirit guides, angels, show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today. Show me the cards that I need to see for the Aries Collective. Give me a message for Aries today, okay? Show me the cards that I need to see. Show me the cards that I need to see, please. All right, some of y'all are out here. You got one less problem without this person that you're dealing with, okay? <laughs> I got one less problem without you, all right? Without you, I have one less problem. Yeah, without you. With you, I have one more problem. Okay, yeah, I was making sure I was saying that right. I got one less problem without you. All right, you're sitting there feeling like that. Like, yeah, this fucking person and your energy, this moody person over there, it's got a lot of feelings and a lot of emotions that, and they're all over the place right now, drinking and doing drugs or whatever. They don't have to be doing both. They're they're either drinking or doing drugs, maybe is what I'm getting. And it doesn't seem like a lot of people do, but I don't fucking know. I ain't gonna pretend like I know that. <laughs> yeah, this person, you are sitting there like, I got one less problem without your ass, okay? Like, you need to get up out my energy. That's how you're feeling about this. Cutting them off, cutting them off, avoiding a tower moment here. Great things, all right?
Aries, you could be a writer or you enjoy words a lot, okay? If you're anything like me, I fucking, I love words. Words have always been my biggest obsession in this entire world and this whole life. I love words. I love the, like, how they affect people. I love using, like, how the good ones affect people and the bad ones. I like it whenever they use those experiments where they, like, get the fucking mold or whatever and they put it in, like, a jar and they just write a word on a piece of tape and stick it to the jar and what happens to it. And, like, some things are, are not mold, but, you know, something in there, like a mushroom, like, some, some of them mold if it's, like, a bad negative word or if it brings negative energy. And some of them are a, if you put, like, happy on there, it'll just, like, blossom into the biggest beautiful mushroom in the entire world okay i love words i've always been like that and i always will be i believe okay um one thing i guess because since i'm getting this so strongly and talking about this right now is watch what you say about yourself here aries every day from here on out for the rest of your life watch what you say about yourself words are spells that's why they call it spelling okay words are spells and how you talk about yourself really, really does matter. I used to have a negative mindset. I used to call myself stupid all the time and dumb and um, all these things I used to call myself because I had a negative mindset. Once I started changing my mindset and the words that I use about myself, my life started changing. Okay, that's going to be significant for someone out here, Aries. So I would really recommend that. Some of you guys are an inventor or you're an ingenuitive person. Okay, you know how to, you know how to do things differently than other people do here, Aries. Writer or words. Um, some of you guys are a healer or you're a very compassionate person, okay? Healer or compassion here, Aries. And we also have teacher and knowledge. Some of you guys are a teacher or you have a lot of knowledge out here, Aries, okay? Helping the world do this, okay? Do this thing. Do this life thing that we be doing. Also remember, Aries, keep in the back of your mind that we are called human beings not human doings, okay? So if you are doing too much in your life, working too hard, spending too much time in this area or that or that area, take a step back, okay? Be there for a second. Just be in your energy for a second. Understand and listen to yourself and see how you feel, okay? Spirit, ancestors, ancestors, and spirit, and spirit guides, and Archangel Michael, show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today. Show me the cards that I need to see for Aries today. Give me a message for Aries, please. Four. Boom. Some of you guys could be a gardener or a cultivator or you really like plants, okay? But this is the card that they want you to see. Yep, inventor, ingenuity, wow. So some of you guys are really uh, big on inventing or you are an ingenuitive person. You come up with things and you bring things, like you create something from nothing here, Aries, is what I'm getting from this card. You are a very ingenu ingenuitive mind, okay? You have a very ingenuitive mind. Confirmation, my doggy outside barking right now. Confirmation. <clears throat> All right, this is what the card means. <clears throat> I've not been able to through it, like clear my throat properly since I started here. Someone someone out here don't want me to tell you this, Aries, or they don't want you watching this for some reason. That's what I'm getting. All right. <clears throat> when the blank canvas of a clear mind is open and receptive and there is focused intention, the possibilities are endless for the invention of something fresh and original. This can range from the simplest device, such as a safety pin, to a complex one, such as a computer. Look around and you'll see any number of creations that began with the seed of an idea that was brought into material reality through the inventor's ingenuity and efforts. Ingenuity is a mix of imagination and action, as both are necessary for any original creation to, man to manifest in the physical realm. Recall an, instant, an instance when you admired any work and speculate as to how it originated and what it took to bring <clears throat> that kind of idea to fruition. It most likely took several attempts of trial and error before the desired invention came to be, each time adding to the knowledge of what and how to adjust. There are also times when ingenuity and cleverness come in handy when you have to face life's dilemmas, conflicts, and trials. At this time in your life, you may even find that you're in the process of reinventing yourself, a task that requires considerable ingenuity. So some of you guys out here are using your ingenuity to recreate yourself, okay, which is a good thing. You are... It's like you are, you know, uh, the, the parts of yourself that you need to change and the parts of yourself that, uh, you need to work on and you are changing that.
This is what your ancestors want you to hear through me drawing this card today. They say, you're feeling stuck in a project, a relationship, or a job. One that will require inventiveness and ingenuity to resolve. Take a moment to reflect on one of those occasions in the past that required inventiveness in coming to a resolution or completion. What was the process you used? Your imagination? Your intuition? Your ingenuity? All three of these? Recall how you went about solving the problem, perhaps with the help and support of others, both physical beings as well as those from the non-visible realm. Be honest with yourself. You have all of these characteristics and they continue to grow stronger every day. Don't deny or denigrate the power and the gifts of these qualities. With the problematic situation you are currently involved in, stop trying so hard to figure it out solely with logic and reason. Instead, recall how you solved problems in the past by trusting your ingenuity. By trusting your ingenuity. A combination of imagination and intuition. Call on this ancestor for inspiration and trust that, ins that insightful and resourceful ideas and actions will come into your consciousness. Okay, Aries? So yeah, so um, like I said, in the in the uh, present here, I uh, know no, the future here cards is saying uh, with the king, I think it was the king of cups that you're uh, the king of cups reverse that you're like not asking for help. You're like you're like well fuck that if this person in my energy isn't gonna help me and they're supposed to be, why am I gonna ask all anybody else? Okay, what it's saying here, your ancestors are telling you, is if in the past if. What you did in order to get through situations was ask for help from other people, friends, family, people that you can trust, something like that. They're telling you that if that worked in the past, that's what you need to do now, okay? Like, don't be don't be putting all your eggs in this basket with this person that's over here trying to trying to get you uh, to, have, to basically have a tower moment. Don't be putting all your eggs in this basket with this person who's like, oh, okay, yeah, I'll be there for you, and then they're over there fucking jet... Like, Okay, they ain't got shit going on and they ain't fucking helping you. So, you know, why are you going to spend your time like waiting on them to come help? And you're sitting there like, oh, well, you ain't going to help. Well, I ain't going to ask somebody else. Now, nah, fuck that. Ask somebody else. Okay, there's other people out here that want to help you. Okay, <laughs> Aries, this is going to be the end of your reading today. Uh, I apologize for how long it is. I realize like, especially having to read the book and everything, how much longer it does make my reads. But I appreciate your patience. I appreciate, like I said, all the likes, comments, subscribers that I've gotten. Thank you so much, guys. It really does help out the channel. Um, I think last time I looked, oh, yesterday or the day before, I was at 113 subscribers. So that was it's amazing. I really, I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Um, if you guys would like a personal reading, you can reach out to me. Um, the email that I will be using for personals will be in the description box below. Reach out for details if you would like. Um, I have done five personal readings for five different people that have all resonated at this point so far. So I'm feeling confident in it and that's why I'm doing it. Love you guys. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. All right. Keep your head up. And as always, love yourself first.